Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing this morning? How am I doing? Hungry. Not hungry. Hungry. H A W N G R Y. Hungry. Why am I hungry? Well, I knew that uh, I was going to do a video today about my duck and quail eggs that I got uh, a couple videos back. And so I started cleaning. One thing led to another. An hour later, I was hungry before I started cleaning. Um, <laughs> growing up, we also called it being wolfish. W-O-O-F-I-S-H. Yeah, well, I guess we're doing a spelling program this morning. Hungry and wolfish. But, uh, so I got everything, not spick and span, but pretty good. Uh, well, let's talk about these eggs some more. Now, everybody... That went and saw my video swimming chickens and can my dog whistle you saw me pick up these eggs look at these guys right here is it that bad boy they are all pouting this morning because I've been cleaning and we didn't go down to the shop so they could play and hunt Yorkies pout a lot <laughs> they'll get over it but um yeah so the wolf pack and i we went and got some duck eggs and some quail eggs never cooked quail eggs and i never cooked duck eggs now since the video i went back and got another dozen and i wanted to show you these because i didn't know that duck eggs came in purple did you guys know that? Me neither, too. But, uh, so I thought I'd do a taste test this morning. Um, normally I make uh, egg burritos and whatnot. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I got my cheese out just in case. But uh, I got my butter. And I got my cast iron skillet. And, uh, yeah. Let's get some butter going. Which do y'all want to try first, the duck eggs or the quail eggs? We'll see. I've had this little skillet since my early 20s. I cook most everything in it. Um, and I recently, last year, I picked up a lid for it. And how I cooked all my life without a lid on my cast iron skillet I don't know should have got it years ago and this skillet here the cast iron is not supposed to be perfectly clean before I start cooking with it I'll heat it up put a little water in it wipe it down uh, make it better for for cooking but anyway cooking like this I discovered when I use basically what I use this skillet for and I want to thank Backroads Nomad for uh, giving this to me he said it was his grandmother's and uh, he had it in storage he wasn't using it and he said I could have it it's a very nice gift it's probably 60 70 years old at, at, uh, at the earliest youngest but I found that when I cook hamburgers, like if I cook two burgers, this is this skillet's hard to cook two burgers. That's like one, like a one burger deal. But when I cook two hamburgers in here or hash browns, see, it doesn't cover the whole thing, but normally it covers it good enough where it doesn't splatter. I think I cleaned everything good with my backsplash dust. Good. So anyway, that's what I use to cover my lid on both skillets and it works good let's do this one-handed I didn't get a piezo ignition 
nor did I get levelers on my RV. Put some butter in here. Now this little skillet is seasoned so well, I probably wouldn't even have to put anything in here. But a little bit of butter for taste, right? It's actually a lot of butter. It may set some of this out. Mmm, butter. You know, we were all told as kids when that Crisco and all that other stuff come out, it's bad that butter was bad for us. We had to use this hydro hydrogenated, am I saying it right, oil? Yeah, we were lied to. I think butter is a lot more safe. We'll use this in a minute if I can get it on my satchel. Can't get it. Maybe cooking in it. <laughs> more butter, more better. Let's try a duck egg first. Let's try a purple one, right? I'm going to do this one handy. Broke the yolk. It'll be alright, right? We're just going to fry it up and have a taste test. I could probably cook the quail eggs here at the same time if I wanted to. We're not in a hurry, are we? I just have finished up my chicken eggs. So it's going to be a treat for me to try this duck egg. A little embarrassed I broke the yolk right here with all everybody watching, but I did. Still tastes the same, right? Normally I add pepper and stuff to it. Right now either black pepper or a little bit of cayenne pepper. But I really want to just taste the egg and the butter. So you don't need a non-skip a non-stick skillet. That stuff will kill you, that Teflon. You end up eating it. It goes in your food. Cast iron's a lot better way to cook. Now that's just my opinion. I don't think I want it cooked any more than that. Yep. Eggs are a staple of my diet. And you can be slim and trim as I am if you eat as many as I do. <laughs> Hope I didn't cook the yolk solid on all of it. I like mine a little bit. Yeah. There we go. It tastes like a tastes like a regular egg, but just a little bit richer. No, I still haven't cut my hair. A lot of snow on the mountain up here, ain't it? <laughs> Let's try another bite. I'm sitting here wondering how I'm gonna how many eggs it's going to take to make a serving with those quail eggs. You know, it's bigger than a regular egg. It could just about replace two regular chicken eggs. And it's richer. I'm going to finish off this egg, then we'll start on those quail eggs. Can I have a bite? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I, I like duck eggs. Uh, I like swimming chicken eggs, I mean. You ain't ever caught a swimming chicken. You ain't ever had a swimming chicken egg, Tucker. Don't you tell me no stories. I can tell. I can tell when you're fibbing me. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Tuck Tuck. 
Uh, you caught me. I'm too ashamed. That's all right. You don't hardly ever tell Daddy no stories. I just want a little bite. You already had your little treat this morning. I don't give them much treats, but a lot of mornings I give them cheese. Pretty good. Martini likes to sit beside me in case I drop anything. <laughs> They're getting a haircut tomorrow. They didn't get shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. Okay, that was the duck egg. Yeah, I got some butter near the flame. Now I'm going to crack these little quail eggs. I don't know if I can do it one-handed or not, especially holding the camera. I may just put them in there. At least we'll see the egg a little better. That's itty bitty. take two hands I'll be right back what I'm finding this little solid color right here is that these shells are really really thick oops hit that one too hard that's three really really tough shells Murdering these eggs is what I'm doing. They'll still taste the same. So it looks like four quail eggs equal one regular chicken egg, maybe. Got it too hot. Let's go ahead and cut the heat off. Got it too hot. Might be the butter from last time. hard little shells. I guess that makes it better when the mama quail setting on them in the wild they don't crush so easy. And the guy was telling me in the video that people eat these quail eggs raw a lot. It's a vitamin supplement, he said, because the quail eggs aren't as bad to get the bacteria in them uh, as chicken eggs and duck eggs, so people eat them raw. And you saw how I like my eggs. I like them with just a little bit of, that's cooked too much. That's the bite we're going to try because it has some yolk in it. Yolk. Did I cook all of them too? I sure did. It'll be all right. Tastes like an egg. The, the duck egg tasted richer. Quail egg tastes like an egg. Yeah. I'll at least fix myself up a little bit before I get on camera, shouldn't I? I'm clean. <laughs> I, got, I got RV hair. Stuff's coming off of me real soon, I promise. It's good. You put them all side, you put the quail egg and the uh, chicken egg side by side, I couldn't tell you the difference. Why did I do a, a video on 
the difference between duck eggs and quail eggs because a lot of people that watched that last video and left comments everybody wanted to know. It got me curious too. Okay, well I think that's going to be our video. Duck eggs, quail eggs, just a day in the life. Thank you for hanging out with me and the wolf pack today. But I'm gonna end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. Bye everybody, you guys take care. Almost forgot to take care again.